So I got something real. So 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 I got something real special for you that I think you really like. Just in a in a concise one sentence, pitch please. Um, in a one sentence, um, concise pitch. Um, the graduation party is a television. Stop right there. Stop right there. No, sir. This is about a bunch of twenty-somethings, self-pitying, boring young people. It has been done to death, and no, who wants to see another one of those? Not me. Not anybody I know worth talking to. So if you had a chance to have another Jersey Shaw, that you know, except they were in Italian and they weren't all, you know, in you know, doing drinking all night and you know, having all you wouldn't take that again. You so you really don't you, I understand it's not art, but you know, it, it is business and it makes a lot of money and I just thought, you know, you'd want that for MC Universal. I mean, just if it's great, it's, it's obvious I programming. Make money other ways where I don't have to be sick when I look in the mirror. Well, first of all, so I think you should consider a couple of things. Number one, these are uh, uh, college graduates of a very interesting university. This is a, um, a, a, an online university, ready? It's founded, it's based in New York. All the guys have some dormitory and everyone's wide and it's like this whole internet thing. But, you know, that, that's not important. The point is that it starts at the graduation. But what's fascinating is that this, uh, they didn't have a, tr a traditional uh, a curriculum or anything like that. What, what it was was uh, it had been founded by the, the younger brother of the a famous intellectual Noam Chomsky, uh, real smart guy up in uh, Boston, uh, MIT, uh, linguistics and like uh, political stuff and all that. You know, well, turns out there was an Abraham Chomsky, Abe Chomsky they called, and, and you know, he, 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 he's a smart guy, just like his brother, and uh, he started this online school, made a ton of money off it, a ton of money, because, you know, all these rich you know, parents send their kids there because, you know, it's like, the, it's like a place to go find themselves and learn about, like, life and things like that. It's a real, real touchy-feely, artsy bullshit kind of thing. I'm waiting for this to get interesting. Well, I sir, know lots of people with college degrees who are not very interested to talk to, and in fact, Well, sir, I'll tell you this. Um, it isn't the degrees, uh, the college degrees that makes them interesting. It ain't what they say that makes them interesting. It ain't well, any of the, the plot lines from, you know, a love triangle to a, uh, a, a, a you know, a marriage proposal that's accepted then rejected by uh, in, a, in a betrayal and cheating between many different couples and, 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 a, and a baby lost in, in, in an abortion and, and, and a, a pregnancy that happens unexpectedly and a mushroom trip. A uh, mushroom chip where a woman talks to her future self. Uh, it's com it's out there, man. It, this is like Fellini meets, uh, you know, I don't know, man. It's just like out there, heavy. I am giving you three minutes. Okay, I well, I guess, I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. There is one thing that makes this special and something that I think the city, this town, this, 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 no one's ever seen something like this before. And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your, at your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen, I got a link right there on the subject line. You just click that. It's going to take you to a page, a, a YouTube page, 22 seconds. Just watch that and it'll give you the answer right. you're looking for right, right now. Right All right, pull it right up and get get back to me after after you click it and watch that shit. I think you'll be quite entertained by it. I will do that. Okay, I'll, I'll wait right here. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you have you uh, have you have you seen it, sir? What do you think? Do, do, ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them them boys and girls went down like that? They all they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were they, that's how they died. How many well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons, and it seems as though... Oh, yeah, the bodies were found, and, and it was identi uh, identified, dental records, correlated, you know, the whole damn, you know, shig shabango. I mean, turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls, she was the daughter of a South Carolina senator, um, the, the Republican senator, and he's getting some uh, federal investigation involved, because he wants to figure out... 
Well, well I, I, no, I believe I'm afraid he is Republican. But sir, the, the thing you have to oh, it, it is too bad. It is too bad. But 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 what, what he's doing, and it's good for the drama, is the fact that we'll be following this in a parallel sense to to to, to all these other you know kind of retrospective events is that you have to understand that. This is footage, nine hours of footage we have of these people's last few hours on Earth. Okay, that, that, that's just compelling television right there in and of itself. But it's then it, 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 really it, 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 it I makes it. Recall, I cannot recall any reality show, so-called reality show, with death as a uh, prominent feature. It's original, and uh, I'm excited about it. That's why I brought it to you first, because I thought, you know, you want to crack or something like this, because this is some exact diff. This, this is a game changer. This is a, a, a TV history kind of thing. But I'll tell you this. we got nine hours of it. It is. Yes, it is, uh, you said, as you said, a game changer. Yes. Uh, it is a I know how, 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 I won't say the word cynical, I will say educated and um, realistic you are in your perception of world events and the events of this industry, but I tell you this, sir, if you really think about this, if you really think about this, this is fascinating because we don't even know, it could have been a suicide pact, it could have been a murder, it could have been a, a, a like a cult thing, it could have been an accident, it could have been arson. It's like, what happened? We don't even know what happened. So we're like in the middle of the story. The story ain't just in that footage of, of their death. It ain't just there. It's, it's this fire that killed them, that, that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life that they like, could have had. It's it fascinating. Like, Father, it is like nothing that has ever been on TV. It's bold. It's big. It's bold and big. You know what I'm saying? I can see this going bold and big into the moon. You know, these kids will be stars. These will, they'll be major stars. They'll be dead stars. They'll be dead, but they'll be stars, you know? And the same Sometimes just... those are the best kind. Well, I'll tell you what. They don't, I'll tell you what. The dead ones, don't, they don't mind. They don't. Well, I, you know, I, I'm just looking at maybe seven to two. You know, eight percent above premium for you know hour cost, and we're looking at five hours in a minute of series that we'll do say over five weeks, you know, hour a week. from uh, the great city of Manhattan, New York City, New York. Um, 
June the 1st, apparently uh, the Westchester coroner has confirmed now that 18, in fact, are dead. 18 bodies have been found at the tragic inferno of the graduation party, as the national media has called it. Uh, the actual audio of the call, 911, is just uh, on June the 2nd here, the day after the tragedy, we have now um, discovered to MSNBC that the South Carolina Senator, uh, the incumbent of three terms of public attention, actually has a daughter who is actually amongst the dead, tragically elevating this to a, a very high level. The Westchester Fire Chief um, has actually now ruled that this is a suspected officer in an investigation challenge suit. And uh, the New York media has covered this tragedy quite extensively. However, because of the high profile nature, Doctor looks as though the national media the story. In addition to that, the investigation has been ordered to, uh, to undertake an investigation. And um, to really, for Chomsky University, would we could do sub right and do this eight ways to Sunday. I mean, this is a property that just grows and grows. We'll do a book. We'll do make it into a like a, you know a twilight kind of book for the teenagers. I mean, we'll we'll go on the web. We'll, we'll do the whole damn shebang. I swear, it's going to be <laughs> merchandising <laughs> heaven. I'll tell you. <laughs> It is vertically integrated, and it is capitulated, and it's going to be manipulated, and it's going to be ridiculated. All right? You take care now. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. All right? I promise, sir.
which was an online university founded by the brother of famed intellectual Noam Chomsky. Um, I think right now they're focusing on arranging the funeral and other things. Um, the New York media has been quite aggressive in pursuing this story because it is a, uh, it's a New York college You're online. They actually have a dormitory in the city of Manhattan or in the borough of Manhattan. But it looks like the national media is picking up the story as well. So the tape, so the, the tape was sent to me like an MP, and, and of to be honest, I was about um, to today, report it, but when you get so held, many tapes from filmmakers trying to do a Blair Witch, uh, you can't uh, report um, every film. June 16th, uh, the biggest movie ever made me was Paranormal very interesting twist. a fake faux footage found footage scene. It's a genre unto itself. So when I get agency, tapes like that, nine hours if I call the cops every day, I'd be calling the cops every day. And it turns out that they so discovered that one individual after watching uh, the tape actually and left the party the prior to the inferno. I realized and he has been interrogated as we speak. Call you know, know what I mean? No, if I was trying to hide this, I would not try to shop it. And I will give you everything. You get me some, I'll get you right now on my people. On the 5th of September, NBC has premiered the show to We will send you digitally everything we got. And let's touch base soon. Because I'd like to know where I stand in all this. Number one. Um, show of that of that Thank night, and, and and it looks like the ratings are going through the roof. Um, a frenzy has truly begun. Well, to be and, honest, um, if just it is as real, these things were getting started. And, and it's let me just add one fact you may not know. These individuals, I got this from an source, are but possibly the, in fact a note not man, I'll give it to you for deceased. analysis because it was handwritten. The filmmaker the said some of the effect originally it was identified we want you to show the world. Um, on July the 29th. And it should I be noted that the, the, the um, it was for whatever this reason was is that a NBC director their talking their about the creative direction of the entire show. Whatever, I don't understand. Um, I know the that they had to communicate, July, and that's why they sent um, it as to well. The, you know, an auction audience. was held by CAA with the major studios for the video rights to put it into a miniseries. CAA Universal. That is new information we just received. That. Basically, the, uh, after watching some of this footage, we the found FBI, out that one of the individuals was rejected from the marriage footage, and which apparently the they kept under seal and no one has seen that, it, not even NBC, Universal, Comcast, or CAA, to cover the damage, if you will, or spin this correctly. This is designed to give all profits to the families of the victims. And this new footage, which has recently been sent to the DC office of the FBI, I have been handling this. It's the New York office that's been handling this uh, interrogation. But the TV series on the 21st of August has been released. The trailer for the graduation party, which is going to be the name of the series, was released. But here on the 21st of October, this shit has really hit the proverbial flat screen. I don't know what to do, what to say next, other than they're not dead and we're not sure why. Uh, wait, let me get in character, okay? Tell, 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 you get them crawfish, Huggy? 
You get them crawfish, I got to do that. All right, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. All right. Yo, tell it, can you can go in the back and get me some of them waters I asked for with them crawfish that um I came in Federal Express earlier this morning. What's that? What's his name? With the, with the FBI, with New York FBI? All right, put them through. I got, put them through. Hello, Matt, hello? I can't hear, what, what, let, me, let me put you on. I, I got my problem here right now, speakers on. Sorry, sir, uh, may I help you? This is Mr. Lee. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of time, but uh, I heard with the FBI. You're with the FBI. I like to, to accommodate you any way I can, uh, but I do. I don't have much time, so if you could cut to the chase, so to speak. Well, uh, Mr. Lee, this is Bo Bassard. I'm actually with the New York Attorney General's office, and uh, I'm giving you a call uh, in regards to the New York Attorney General's office. in regards to some found footage you may have in your possession. Um, I, I, I suppose... <laughs> Since I've been in this business a lot of years, sir, and I, I, I'll admit, when this thing came in anonymously, I got a, you must know by now that it, it came in anonymous, and we still don't know who it came from, but yeah, this was some, some material that the best of us, the most professional among us, we still don't know what to make of it, heads or tails, and we were about to call you, I gotta tell you, we weren't trying to pull any funny stuff, but we just didn't know what we had. Yeah, they're always about to call. Let, let, let's go back to the team. Did that come through the mail? By Federal Express, sir. And do you still have the envelope that it came in? Absolutely, sir. I mean, we're not idiots. I mean, we are. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't from West Virginia or Louisiana. I'm just telling you, know, we get, even though I have a southern accent, I... The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation by the FBI and a The following audiovisual Thank you. 
kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids act as professional actors. That's why I was so damn convinced. You got some talent, I'll, t- I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing, and artistic license is another. I was then going into jail. I acted there. But, but what do I know about law? Maybe it's illegal. Damn it, I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity, most of the most powerful film ever made, and, you know, they want you to think it's real, and you know, this whole reality is fit. I, look, I ain't in it for that. I'm in it for the 10%, and I just got one thing to say. There's a one silver lining to all of all this is I get a hold of that filmmaker and I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained reliances and survivor-like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that. And we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow the trials, because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify. But I do think I do have a... Uh, uh, every last one of them, sir. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Every last one, every last one of them. Yeah. It turns out they faked it all. Faked it all to, 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 to induce us uh, with fraudulent intent to air and broadcast their... Part. That's the word. That's the word. Fraudulent. They made a fool of you, and you made a fool of me. You took me long for the humiliation. Hey, sir, I did and not... the money. I did, well, the money, I do admit, was, was an incentive, but I did not mean for it to reflect poorly upon you, upon the company and corporation of Comcast or NBC or Universal or any But it did, boy, it did. It surely did. It did. I am humiliated. I may even be ruined. Uh, sir, I, I, I would like to draw your attention to the silver lining. You are so lucky. I'm not a shooting man. Except when you, it's duck season, now, huh? You're going hunting today, I mean, you know. Now, Except for duck season. No one had actually died, even the boy that committed Except suicide. for the fraud, of course. Wait, hold on, certainly it's a fraud, and I'm not saying it ain't a crime. And I am the victim. Throw away the key, if you know, I could care less, but as long as I can feel them throwing out the key... That's all I care about, so I get my 10%. Sir, so I want you to consider the following. Even the boy that jumped off the building, you know, the black boy, the, the, the gentleman, that, the, the, sing, you know, the singer. Oh, yeah. Even oh, that, yes. Oh, yes. Even that corpse was fake. They had taken cadavers out of the lockers like slabs of meat from the deli, and they put them in that house out there, and they had that party. They had them literally downstairs in the basement, on ice during the party. Then at the end of the party, they positioned them out throughout the house. They put them clothes on them that they were wearing. All those, you know, the, the girls with those tight little dresses and those boys with those fancy shirts and suits and those, those ascots that they were wearing. And they put them on those things so they'd be found with their body and people would assume it was them. It was all a bunch of bullshit. They had thought this thing out for a year going forward. I don't know who thought, I don't know who the mastermind is, but someone is some evil doctor, evil genius in the group there because I don't know what... Dying between homework and getting laid. I don't know how many thinks about that at 22 years old. But hey. Diabolical. It is That's diabolical. The only word it's like Lex Luthor level diabolical. Damn. But that can be Except for the fraud, of course. Wait, hold on. Certainly it's a fraud. And I'm not saying there ain't a, a crime. And I am the victim. Throw away the key. If you know, I could care less. But as long as I can feel them throwing out the key, that's all I care about. So I can get my 10%. But I'll tell you, so I hear it's you. It's know, humiliating, I, but also intriguing. It is. A, it's a bit intriguing, and the most intriguing thing about it, like I said, is season two and three. If I get my hands on that filmmaker today, which is about now, I'm gonna meet that boy. He gets me, like, he gives me a solid lead. I'll get on that plane. I'll go see those kids, and not only will I get an acquisition of that footage in return for probably providing them with counsel. That is the uh, curious part of this whole story. It is curious. It, won't, won't, won't you? I, I am dying to hear out of the mouth of these babes. Because that's what it is, out of the mouth of babes, the truth of how they came to this, what brought them to this. Why not just go get a goddamn job, meet a nice girl, settle down, get a house and a dog and a white pick a fence? I mean, is that so wrong? I mean, what is it? Well, by, what's all these, these kids wanting fame and fortune and wanting to be on the cover of people? And, oh, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a disease. Damn, it's crazy. I mean, it's this whole thing. Moral, moral. I got the Bible in my hand right now. I'm telling you, I, I was reading scripture when you called, thinking about how like, getting the rights to, the, uh, to that to that particular work, but then I, I heard it was um, a public domain, apparently, the Bible, because it was written by God. He does one, one problem at a time. But you know that uh, God's not even represented, you know, you think he'd be with William Moss by now, but 
It's amazing they haven't gotten that mitzvah. Galladea, yeah, okay, I need you to okay, t- take a pen and pencil, all right, and, and do the following things for me, okay? Things for me, okay? Mr. Brian's going to be calling me all morning, all right? I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him now. My, 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 my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins, tell him the whole, the whole family. I just I can't talk to him right now. And get that detective, that private. I need you to do some research, and we have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? I need to get a meeting with him today. Because when I talk to Mr. Brian, and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I, I got that. Fix. You understand the severity of the situation? Anyone that calls, you disavow all knowledge. We are not commenting. Except to say that we had no knowledge of impropriety associated with this production at all. We thought it was earnest to God off of truth. It was the straight scoop. That was the real lives. They had actually perished in those fires. That this was not some publicity, marketing, crazy ass, Blair Witch kind of stunt. Hell, I ain't that sophisticated. It was all just happenstance and hood wheeling and hood winking and the bull over my eyes and all that other shit. So just whatever you have to say, just we didn't do this. And that's the damn truth. We, and you know that because you've been, how long you've been with me now? What? No. So you've been with me since that you, in fact, it was two weeks you've been working here that those packages started coming in here. Remember that? Well, we didn't even look at them until the FBI boys got in. We did look at them. Well, we saw all that footage and we saw it and then that went sort to Comcast and next thing you know, the numbers went off through the roof. One of the, one of the kids that died, uh, this is a daddy who was a, was a very powerful man, he was a South Carolina senator actually, and he, uh, he got his FBI boys involved and they did the tracking down and talking to everyone they found yeah, out that a couple people actually left the party that were, wasn't, wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many, well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there, they were the same age and, and racial composition, they put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards and then they saw that fire, they actually watched the damn fire from the cover of the woods, but Suffice it to say that the whole thing was a scam, sham, flim flam to the man. And I don't know why they did it except made me sell some advertising on a television show because I, I certainly know how to tell a second sell a TV show. So I, I sold Snooky for MTV. I, you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick, but I guess these boys and girls did. They thought they did. So anyway, it ain't no here nor there. But at this time, what we need to do is I need to speak with that filmmaker right away because it looks like what I found out was. These boys and girls are all alive, and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess, because it turns out not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. The whole, even that, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated. But the fact is that those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little virgin islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out, from my sauce, that they had filmed all of that as well. So, while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast, yeah. So I, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands. And it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that, uh, one of those, uh, the girl that, that did, well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And, um, you see, the way this whole thing went down is, um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI, because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage, and I looked at it, and then I tried to sell it to Comcast, and we made a deal, and that was a sell. I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that that, that they put together, and, I, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan, and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting, and I sold them while we were duck hunting. So I want you to consider the following. Even the boy that jumped off the building, you know, the black boy, the, the, the gentleman, that, the, the, sing, you know, the singer. Oh, yeah. Even oh, that, yes. Oh, yes. even that corpse was fake. They had taken cadavers out of the lockers, like slabs of meat from the deli, and they put them in that house out there, and they had that party. They had them literally downstairs in the basement, on ice during the party. Then at the end of the party, they positioned them out throughout the house. They put them clothes on them that they were wearing, all those, you know, the, the girls with those tight little dresses, and those boys with those fancy shirts and suits and those, those ascots that they were wearing. And they put them on those things so they'd be found with their body and people would assume it was them. It was all a bunch of bullshit. They had thought this thing out for a year going forward. I don't know who thought, I don't know who the mastermind is, but someone is some evil doctor, evil genius in the group there. Because I don't know what, dying between homework and getting laid. I don't know how anyone thinks about that at 22 years old. But hey. 
It's the only word, folks. It's like Lex Luthor level diabolical. They had filmed themselves not only at the party where they allegedly died, but in anticipation of this very day where they would be caught. They filmed themselves in the island where they were all live, you know, real world style, all together in one home. <laughs> Turns out that they had this huge mansion on one of the little islands, and everything was filmed. So we got ourselves a season two and three. We'll make season two of the island, season three the trial, season four we'll put it in their jail cells. We got them. We got them for the rest of the last of our lives. So sorry, it's a bad day for PR. I swear it is a bad day. God damn it. You put that Confederate flag at half mast. I swear. I, I recognize Do we know where they are? Well, you know what? I got the feelers out right now. And I, got, I, got, I got an investigator. And I got the investigator who's found me the filmmaker. Now, when I talk to that filmmaker who's coming in here right here today, he's going to come in here right here now. I got to talk to this attorney. He comes in here, and I get some answers out of that boy, and then I'm going to get that jet jet, and I'm going to fly down, and I, get, I know they're in the island somewhere, because I got an IP address when I got one of these suspicious emails uh, that was leaked to me by one of them disgruntled, you know, types of stuff. So it turns out there was an internal rift from the group inside. It turns out that Paradise was not found south in the islands as they thought it would be. They got the money. They were getting those checks from the charities. They had insurance on all their lives, plus the building that went down in flames. They had all the money in the world. It turns out... They couldn't live together. They couldn't live together. And get this up. Uh, here's another silver lining. I found out through my you know, particular sources and you know, sources of information that may be confidential that they had filmed themselves not only at the party where they allegedly died, but in anticipation of this very day where they would be caught. They filmed themselves in the island where they were all live, you know, real world style, all together in one home. <laughs> Turns out that they had this huge mansion on one of the little islands. And everything was filmed. So we got ourselves a season two and three. We'll make season two of the island, season three the trial, season four we'll put it in their jail cells. We got them. We got them for the rest of the last of our lives. So sorry, it's a bad day for PR. I swear it is a bad day. God damn it. You put that Confederate flag at half mast. I swear I, I recognize that. But, but I tell you, so I hear it's you. It's know, humiliating, but, but also intriguing. It is. A, it's a bit intriguing, and the most intriguing thing about it, like I said, is season two and three. If I get my hands on that filmmaker today, which about now I'm gonna meet that boy, he gets me, like, he gives me a solid lead. I'll get on that plane. I'll go see those kids, and not only will I get an acquisition of that footage in return for probably providing them with counsel for their defense, and perhaps in the intervening in some of the uh, district attorney's uh, negotiations for plea bargains, but I will get their rights. I'll bring the contracts down here with, with me. I got my old, I got, I got my but, secretary but right now. Pretend right now. You, pretending just for a moment that I am a ordinary man and not a very rich, not so ordinary man. So that is impossible for me to imagine, but, but continue. I will, I will, I will. I, I will would be, me. I would be strongly tempted to watch such a show, I think. You would be tempted. You would be tempted to, to see what occurred on the island. I yeah. believe I would become hooked on such a show, and I would watch that show. Uh, I believe. No one had actually died. Even the boy on the man who I don't think was in the party who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio and then did the editing, and he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. And he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think this was set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I set it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability. Uh, uh, so uh, to summarize... We need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead. And, and in fact, uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last 
party the, the, the last hours of their young lives was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old. Uh, we will be saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the... Start, please. All right. Just, just wax play. That's kind of a funny word, graduate. You know, because um, you're graduating from something, but you're also graduating too. Oh, and that's another thing. People are always saying, like, I graduated high school or I graduated college. No, no, no. You graduated from high school. You graduated from college. And if, if you get it wrong, if you say it wrong, then obviously your education didn't do much for you, did it? But anyway, so you're graduating from... Listen to this, local colleges are in the spotlight and a new national report of the best liberal arts colleges in the country. Washington Monthly Magazine lists Bryn Mawr at number one. That's followed by Swarthmore at number two. Hey, next, next, know. next. All right, forget that then. Number one, don't smell the air. You mean, wait a minute, I gotta interrupt. Yeah, go. Do you want me to say smell the air or don't? I, I want you to give them practical <laughs> advice about this world. And I don't think smelling the air is where I'm going for this, okay? okay Continue. Okay. Go. Well, then then be, talk about whatever comes to you. You have a 22-year-old nephew that you like or niece. Warn them about the world. Be cautionary. Be yourself. Do it. Boom. Action. Number one, remember that you are a member of the human race. Uh, there, uh, the, uh, a race that included Isaac Newton and uh, uh, Martin Luther King and uh, uh, Jackie Collins and just all kinds of great, great people, all of whom they 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 had a they had a a a goal. They not only had a goal, they had a purpose. They had a purpose. It wasn't even a purpose they chose. It was a purpose they were born with. You have to realize what your purpose is. Find it within you, whatever it takes. First of all, I'm not going to say plastics. Because uh, everybody's different and you're not going to like define a whole generation uh, by pushing them into something. And nobody's, I admit this, nobody's ever had it harder than your generation. It's the economy, stupid. Wednesday night, Jim's off. I'm Rob Jennings. The big story in Action News is the multi-alarm fire that turned a $5 million, 22,000 square foot mansion into charred embers. The flames erupted around 2.30 inside the French Chateau on South Ithan Avenue in Radnor Township, right down the road from Villanova's campus, and it burned for the rest of the afternoon. Kenneth Moten has been covering this story for the whole time for us. A couple of firefighters were hurt there. Kenneth, how are they doing? Rob, one firefighter suffered a minor burn, the other a minor injury to his back, so they will be okay. About 20 minutes ago, Ithan Avenue reopened and crews cleared the scene. We've also learned this house had an alarm and sprinkler system to help prevent it from a major fire. Well, it appears that system was no match for whatever started today's fire. This is the new video tonight of firefighters in Ratner Township doing what they can to save this $5 million mansion. Throughout the evening, dozens of firefighters put out the hot spots of the fire that ripped through this 19-bedroom house and left behind this burned-out shell on Ithan Avenue. I thought it was a bloody shame, actually, because it's such a pretty house. Retired businessman Wayne Lewis owned the six-acre estate in the 70s. As Chopper 6 HD hovered over, he watched the inferno eat away at the roof of his former home. When we moved in, it was really quite nice, and we lived there for several years, and then we finally moved out because it was just a tad big. <laughs> The house is so big, the family living inside didn't even know there was a fire until the alarm system sounded and alerted firefighters around 2.30 p.m. The Canadian renters got out safely with their pets. Firefighters worked for three hours to contain the fire. 
just a tough fire. I was in a, a, a slate roof, trying to get through the roof to get to the fire, and the fire was underneath it real heavily. And it's just hard to put out a fire that it contained with that much heat. Current owner Gerald Badoff was trying to sell the French Chateau, which was called Bloomfield Estates. The home with its high ceilings and beautiful ballroom was built in the 1920s by a wealthy Philadelphia industrialist as a wedding present for his daughter. Several decades ago, another fire took out the roof of the mansion. This time, those like Elaine Scherer, who know this historic home, are not confident it will be restored. It's sad. It's another piece of history that's disappearing. We should also mention this house and the property were used in several movies over the years, including a thriller called Safe, which comes out later this month. The fire marshal says he could have a cause of the fire as early as tomorrow. Reporting live here in Radnor Township, Kenneth Moten, Channel 6, Action News. Thank you, Kenneth. We have more chopper video from the Mainline Mansion Fire at our website, 6abc.com. And we invite you to take a look at our popular slideshow of images from the scene.
tears on my face And I'm stuck up in the storm I, I guess I'll be alright I just got the news about the, um, Testing, uh, testing one, two, uh, testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two.
it's nothing but uh, you know some legal protection of mine. Um, you know, uh, my personal attorney advised me to do this because I gotta uh, leave uh, to go get them boys and girls down there. Um, you know, I'm not gonna disclose right now where I found out where they are, but I, I did, and I am going to see this right. I'm, I gotta fix some things with relationships I have in the industry if I want to keep working in this industry. I mean, I like to retire, but I don't know if I can afford it. <clears throat> I'm getting married soon, and I, I you know, I, it, it's all happening real fast. So I'm going down there to find, fetch these people, and I'm, I'm getting them signed up for the season two, and I'm, I'm getting them fixed up with the FBI and trying to work this out and, and, and keep these boys and girls out of trouble because, you know, I think there was maybe someone behind it, but I don't think all these people were guilty of a crime. I don't think they all know what they were doing. I think they all got caught up in it, you know, like young people can. And I, and I feel, I, I personally feel a sense of responsibility for them, even though I, I feel. As though you know, depends on how I handle this. I could this could ruin my life, I and mean, that's not even joking. I can't believe after all these years and building up and selling all the things I have and getting ten percent here, getting ten percent there, getting ten percent here, and putting together a couple million dollars, I can you know, go away in legal fees because of some damn kid who thinks he can make a Blair Rich project like Orson Welles and, and scare the hell out of people and think they're dead for months, and it's just like. It, it's just, it ain't right. It's, it's just there's nothing right about it. So I'm just gonna go down and fix it right now. But I just want to make this. Um, I just want to make this quick tape and just you know as like a video um, affidavit and say you know to uh, my agency, you know CAA, to to to, to, to the studios, to ABC Universal, to, uh, to Comcast, and uh, to all the uh, you know especially. Uh, you know, Robert Bryan, COO of programming there, who, 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 who I, I grew up in Louisiana with, with Mr. Roberts, and I, he's the last man I'd ever want to alienate from something like this. So it's like, you know, I just want to get it on the record that I, I, I did have, not have any knowledge of this, and I, I sincerely am, I apologize for what, you know, to the families that, that were, who went through such an ordeal for so long, for, for those months, I mean, for how many, three or four months they were going on, they thought the, the child had died, and, and, and then to see it coming on TV, and to, to be getting these checks, uh, to get, be getting paid for the death of your child, is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's the worst thing in the world that can happen, combined with a good thing that, that makes it all upside down, and sideways, and I just, and I'm a part of it, and I'm, I'm, the genesis of it, and the project came to me, and I could have ignored it. I mean, yeah, the FBI, I had to watch those things because they came to me, but hey, I don't know, fate of destiny sent them to me. I, I thought I was, I thought, I thought I hit the jackpot when I got those tapes, and I sat down and watched a few of them with those FBI agents. But I, you know, now looking back, be careful what you wish for, because you know, I always wished for, you know, another Jersey Shaw set, you know, sell. I, no one believed in that when I was trying to sell that, you know. I mean, hey, Mr. Roberts, you um, know. Mr. Brian, rather himself, he you know he he passed on that. He laughed his ass off when I was telling him about that sinker girl. He said he just laughed his ass off, and now now we laugh about it over some Southern Comfort when we talk about the ratings and how it just blew out. You know, it's the highest rating show on on MTV. So I said, so it's like you ask yourself, you know, you, you see where these kids get these ideas from. They see paranormal activity and they see all these things, and you know, you never know what, what might come up from it. So um, anyway, it's just uh, just getting it out there that I, I just want to apologize. Um, don't know when I'll be back. Don't know if I'll be able to reach down there in the islands. Uh, don't want to really disclose my location um, just because I don't want anyone else involved. I think it's my problem. It's my, it's my mess to clean up, and I want to do that right now. And uh, I have contacted the authorities. I have contacted a special agent who's going to be um, flying down there and meeting me. And I uh, just wanted to uh, say here now that I'm, I'm packed up and I'm ready to go, and I'm going to see this thing through. And, and uh, you know, I might have been a little bit crass early talking about my 10% on this next season. And uh, while that is accurate, you know, I'll get paid. And um, I, by no means am I doing it opportunistically. Uh, frankly, I see this as a, an attempt to, uh, to to bring closure on something that was going to be widely misunderstood. I mean, the, 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 the public's going to eviscerate these people. They're going to think that nothing but, uh, you know, opportunistic uh, pieces of shit that exploited and manipulated the American public. And I, frankly, I don't think these kids were, were had done that. Maybe there's the, the one or two of them did, but I, I don't think they all should be blamed and have their life ruined like that. So I'm just going to try to help these men, these boys and girls. And, and I want to help myself, frankly, and, and, and help 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 me in my own so I, I'm going to do that and I just want to make this uh, little you know shitty ass with my damn camcorder just for the record that I, I, I knew nothing about this and uh, I stand by that and, and, I, and I'll testify that in the court of law in any court of law yeah yep, yep. in, uh, in up here in, yeah, in, in California uh, it, 
down south in Dixie, I, wherever you want to say it, I, I, I will, uh, as long as it's on American soil, I will testify, and as long as my hand can be pulling that Bible and I can swear to God, I will. God help me. Praise Jesus. So I got something real. So 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 I got something real special for you that I think you really like. And just in a in a concise one sentence pitch, please. Um, in a one sentence um, concise pitch. Uh, the graduation party is a television. Stop right there. Stop right there. No, sir. This is about a bunch of twenty-somethings, self-pitying, boring young people. It has been done to death, and no, who wants to see another one of those? Not me. Not anybody I know worth talking to. So if you had a chance to have another Jersey Shaw, you know, except they weren't Italian and they weren't, all, you know, in, you know, doing, drinking all night and, you know, having all, you wouldn't take that again? You, so you really don't, you, I understand it's not art, but, you know, it, it is business and it makes a lot of money. And I just thought, you know, you'd want that for NBC Universal. I mean, just, if it's great, it's, it's obvious program. money other ways where I don't have to be sick when I look in the mirror. Well, first of all, so I think you should consider a couple of things. Number one, these are uh, uh, college graduates of a very interesting university. This is a, um, a, a, an online university, ready? It's founded, it's based in New York. They all the guys some dormitory and everyone's wide and it's like this whole internet thing. But, you know, that, that's not important. The point is that it starts at the graduation. But what's fascinating is that this, uh, they didn't have a, tr a traditional uh, curriculum or anything like that. What, what it was was uh, it had been founded by the, the younger brother of the a famous intellectual Noam Chomsky, uh, real smart guy up in uh, Boston, uh, MIT, uh, linguistics and like uh, political stuff and all that. You know, well, turns out there was an Abraham Chomsky, Abe Chomsky they called, and, and you know, he, 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 he's a smart guy, just like his brother, and uh, he started this online school, made a ton of money off it, a ton of money, because, you know, all these rich you know, parents send their kids there because, you know, it's like, the, it's like a place to go find themselves and learn about, like, life and things like that. It's a real, real touchy-feely, artsy, bullshit kind of thing. I'm waiting for this to get interesting. Well, I sir, know lots of people with college degrees who are not very interested to talk to, and in fact, some of those some of those young punks on MTV's Real World, uh, Unreal World, would be more like it, have college degrees themselves, and they were not very interested. Well, sir, I'll tell you this. Um... It isn't the degrees, uh, the college degrees that makes them interesting. It ain't what they say that makes them interesting. It ain't well, any of the, the plot lines from, you know, a love triangle to a, uh, a, a you know, a marriage proposal that's accepted then rejected by uh, in, a, in a betrayal and cheating between many different couples and, 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 a, and a baby lost in, in, in an abortion and, and, and a, a pregnancy that happens unexpectedly and a mushroom trip. A uh, mushroom chip where a woman talks to her future self. Uh, it's com it's out there, man. It, this is like Fellini meets, uh, you know, I don't know, man. It's just like out there, heavy. I am giving you three minutes. Okay, I well, I guess, I guess I will. I guess I do need to get to the hook. There is one thing that makes this special and something that I think the city, this town, this, 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 this no one's ever seen something like this before. And if you would just do me the honor of clicking on the, uh, if you look at your, your email and, and pull it up right there on that screen, I got a link right there on the subject line. You just click that. It's going to take you to a page, a, a YouTube page, 22 seconds. Just watch that and it'll give you the answer right. you're looking for right now. All right, pull it right up and get get back to me after after you click it and watch that shit. I think you'll be quite entertained by it. I will do that. Okay, I'll, I'll wait right here. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you have you uh, have you have you seen it, sir? What do you think? Does, ain't that a game changer? I mean, ain't that a game changer? Can you believe them them boys and girls went down like that? They all they all died. They died burned to burned alive. They were they, that's how they died. Uh, I'm saying how many were there? Well, it was about 18, and that wasn't all of them. It turns out a couple of them had left the party for unrelated reasons, and it seems as though... I know for a fact that they were home, and they were burned alive. 
<laughs> oh yeah, the bodies were found and and it was identi- uh, identified, dental records correlated. You know the whole damn you know shig- shibango. I mean, turns out one of these kids, uh, one of the, it was one of the girls. She was the daughter of a South Carolina senator, um, the Republican senator, and he's getting some uh, federal investigation involved because he wants to figure out. Well, I, I, no, I believe I'm afraid he is Republican. But sir, the thing you have to—it okay. is too bad. It is too bad. But 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 what, what he's doing, and it's good for the drama, is the fact that we'll be following this in a parallel sense to to to, to all these other you know kind of retrospective events. Is that you have to understand that. This is footage, nine hours of footage we have of these people's last few hours on Earth. Okay, that, that, that's just compelling television right there in and of itself. But it then quite intriguing, it, it really is. It, 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 it I makes cannot it. Recall, I cannot recall any reality show, so-called reality show, with death being the main thing. I mean, it's not like the it's original, and uh, I'm excited about it. That's why I brought it to you first, because I thought, you know, you want to crack or something like this, because this is something that different. This, this is a game changer. This is a, a, a TV history kind of thing. But I'll tell you this. we got nine hours of it. It is. Yes, it is, uh, you said, as you said, a game changer. Yes. Uh, I don't know what the I know how, 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 I won't say the word cynical. I will say educated and um, realistic you are in your perception of world events and the events of this industry. But I tell you this, sir, uh, if you really think about this, if you really think about this, this is fascinating because we don't even know. It could have been a suicide pact. It could have been a murder. It could have been a, a, a like a cult thing. It could have been an accident. It could have been arson. It's like, what happened? We don't even know what happened. So we're like in the middle of the story. The story ain't just in that footage of, of their death. It ain't just there. It's, it's this fire that killed them, that, that robbed them of this adulthood, of this life that they could have had. It's fascinating. Father, it is like nothing that has ever been on TV. It's bold. It's big. It's bold and big. You know what I'm saying? I can see this going bold and big into the moon. You know, these kids will be stars. These will, they'll be major stars. They'll be dead stars. They'll be dead, but they'll be stars, you know? And the same Sometimes just... those are the best kind. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. Friends. The dead ones, don't, they don't mind. They don't. I am so intrigued. I want to know myself how much. Well, I, you know, I, I'm just looking at maybe seven to, to you know, eight percent above premium for you know our cost, and we're looking at five hours in a minute series that will do say over five weeks, you know, hour a week, promoted heavily of course I'd like twenty percent of the budget of the licensing fee to go towards marketing. So that's a separate above the cost. P and A of course are gonna be extra. So I mean we're looking at maybe you know six point five or close to seven, you know, near near that and then we'll, we'll give you first look on the reruns and syndication. Cause you know those things are gonna go to the moon and be broken up for, but we're gonna have the outtakes, we're gonna have twenty hours of stuff, we leave it on the editing room floor that's gonna be put on DVD and uh, iTunes and all those ancillary, you know, streams of revenue as you understand. So um, you know, we'll give you a little taste of that. With all those uh, with all those uh, young people involved, uh, there are so many stories that could even be a sequel. The, the, the possibility, because, you know, um, of course, we'd have to have a different cast because, you know, they're dead and all that, but we do have a couple of the people that, that we do. The discussion, the discussion of it, it could just fascinate people. It's fascinating. We could adapt it. We could get, you know, uh, one of some of those young styles to play some of these kids. You know, we could actually go to Hollywood and make the Hollywood version of this. And, but we instead, you know, we actually film. I don't think there's no footage of the fire. So we could actually create the fire and just get like this best special effects people in you know Hollywood. We could do a right and do this eight ways to Sunday. I mean, this is a property that just grows and grows. We'll do a book. We'll do make it into a like a, you know a Twilight kind of book for the teenagers. I mean, we'll we'll go on the web. We'll, we'll do the whole damn shebang. I swear, it's going to be much seen heaven. I'll tell you. It is vertically integrated, and it is capitulated, and it's going to be manipulated, and it's going to be ridiculated. Because I'm telling you, this is something special, and I don't bring us home to roost like this to you. And I'll tell you, since you're a Louisiana boy, I've always gotten respect for you as my mentor, and I'm telling you, I've learned everything from you. I just, it's my pleasure to give you this deal. All right, don't, don't need to overdo it. It's already sold. All right, you know, you don't, you don't want to, you know, beat a dead horse to say down there south. So I hear you. I'm gonna send over those papers, and you know, so I'm gonna send you over some of that footage because I like, I think maybe you'd be interested in having yourself or some of your people looking at it because there's some intriguing stuff in there, some fascinating little storylines that I'd like to bring to your attention if you'd like us to focus on anything specific because uh, I think this is going to have quite a cultural impact. Well, 
So I'll send them over by carrier to you along with the contracts. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Nice talking to you. We'll, 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 we'll uh, good doing business with you. And uh, we'll talk about the uh, premier. Uh, we'll take a meeting in about a month or so. It may be down in Philadelphia at your place, all right? My mind is running away. I appreciate that, sir. That's like, very exciting. I'm glad I didn't have to go to auction. I didn't have to play, wanna play some of these hardball games with Disney and all the other guys. So I really appreciate doing direct business with you. And I hope Comcast, NBC, and the whole Universal family really, really benefits from this package. Because I'm telling you, this thing's going to be special. Going to go, go to the moon. Go on, go to the moon. I swear that. All right? I want to talk to you later, sir. All right? You take care now. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. I'll send over some shortcakes to you. All right? I promise, sir. Take care now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Later. All right. Okay, done. Christmas in December, and I'm telling you one thing right now, it's just about executing the plan. Now, I've played it perfectly, okay? I talked to, uh, I talked to my boy over at Comcast, NBC, Universal, and, and uh, you know, uh, disavowed all knowledge, and he's got plausible deniability. Okay, I'll just turn around and just pick up to my turn, yeah? So I'll tell you one thing. The key is right now is keeping the lid on what you got going on down there. When this whole thing happened, the whole reason why we're in this little pickle, the whole reason why this whole mess started, and I don't blame you, baby, I'm just telling you straight up, you lost control of one of your people. I mean, you had them up like a regiment from Paris Island Marines, all in line, and saying who, hup, hup, hit, high, and all at the same time, and you just didn't marching like a marching band. All I'm telling you is that you lost control of someone down there in Paradise, and listen, what's done is done. I'm not going to run any money call back to this thing, but when I get down there, we'll decide, you know, Make a sweet love to you. I want to say some things straight. I want to talk to these people. I want to tell them, listen, they won't go to the jail time, you know, because we can't have you going in your pretty ass jail. We got to uh, we got to spread the blame here a little bit. We got to create a little bit of confusion and a little bit of a contradictory testimony. Yeah, I don't want to work on that. But listen, I'm uh, I got the uh, I got the private jet uh, fueled up right now. I got the car waiting, and uh, I got a little bit of a problem with these. Um, Friendly uh, federal agents have been uh, helpful in uh, feeding me information. They're uh, kind of shadowing right now. I think they suspect something. I don't, maybe, I got, maybe they got a tap on uh, one of my phones. I'm using the uh, you know, line nine. I never use line nine. I mean, I use line eight in an emergency. I use line ten during the holidays. Uh, you know, line six is, of course, you know, for you and me and for sex talk. Uh, line four typically for just friends. Line two is a, is a business line. Line one is got to pay the bill on Saturday. There's no line one no more, but I, I'm using line nine, and, and I don't think they got line nine. I don't even know about line nine. So I'm mm -hmm. using line nine. I'm saying one thing. Okay, so I'm getting on that train. All right, I'm going to be down there. When I do, when I get down there, we're going about, mm, we're going to have to jump about three, three, four hours on those sets. They're going to get, they're going to do, they're, they're going to be right back home right there. I'm going to say, I'm going to get my fastest car. I'm going to drive right down there. These kids were going to be like the next big thing had this had gone according to plan. I mean, yeah, the they part, they're getting exposure, but they're not getting the credit. 
you know, that I think they are, that, that is, you know, owed to them. You know, if had they stayed alive, um, most of them, I guess, they would be reaping the benefits of what's going on right now. The most shy and ugly people in the world, they might be on camera. Shit, we see them on TV all the time, you know what I'm saying? I don't see what the big deal was. There was no problem with them being filmed. People are filmed all the time at parties or wherever it is, you know, and, uh, the right to their own lives. Yeah, but you know, when you're at a party, there's nothing that's private. There is no privacy at parties.
Um, it's nothing but uh, you know some legal protection of mine. Um, you know, uh, my personal attorney advised me to do this because I gotta uh, leave uh, to go get them boys and girls down there. Um, you know, I'm not gonna disclose right now where I found out where they are, but I, I did, and I am going to see this right. I'm, I gotta fix some things with relationships I have in the industry if I want to keep working in this industry. I mean, I like to retire, but I don't know if I can afford it. <clears throat> I'm getting married soon, and I, I you know, I, it, it's all happening real fast. So I'm going down there to try to fetch these people, and I'm, I'm getting them signed up for the season two, and I'm, I'm getting them fixed up with the FBI and trying to work this out and, and, and keep these boys and girls out of trouble because, you know, I think there was maybe someone behind it, but I don't think all these people were guilty of a crime. I don't think they all know what they were doing. I think they all got caught up in it you know, like young people can, and I, and I feel, so, I, I personally feel a sense of responsibility for them, even though I, I feel. Is though you know depends on how I handle this. I could this could ruin my life, I and mean, that's not even joking. I can't believe after all these years and building up and selling all the things I have and getting ten percent here, getting ten percent there, getting ten percent here, and putting together a couple million dollars, I can all you know, go away in legal fees because of some damn kid who thinks he can make a Blair Rich project like Orson Welles and, and scare the hell out of people and think they're dead for months, and it's just like. It, it's just, it ain't right. It's, uh, it's just there's nothing right about it. So I'm just gonna go down and fix it right now. But I just want to make this. Um, I just want to make this quick tape and just you know as like a video um, affidavit and say you know to uh, my agency, you know CAA, to to to, to, to the studios, to ABC Universal, to uh, Comcast, and uh, to all the uh, you know especially. Uh, you know, Robert Bryan, COO of programming there, who, 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 who I, I grew up in Louisiana with, with Mr. Roberts, and I, he's the last man I'd ever want to alienate from something like this. So it's like, you know, I just want to get it on the record that I, I, I did have, not have any knowledge of this, and I, I sincerely am, I apologize for what, you know, to the families that, that were who went through such an ordeal for so long, for, for those months, I mean, for how many, three or four months they're going on, they, they thought the, the child had died, and, and and then to see it coming on TV, and to, to be getting these checks, uh, to get be getting paid for the death of your child, is just, I mean, it, it's, it's the worst thing in the world that can happen, combined with a good thing that, that makes it all upside down, and sideways, and I just, and I'm a part of it, and I'm, I'm, the genesis of it, and the project came to me, and I could have ignored it. I mean, yeah, the FBI, I had to watch those things because they came to me, but I don't know, fate or destiny sent them to me. I, I thought I was, I thought, I thought I hit the jackpot when I got those tapes, and I sat down and watched a few of them with those FBI agents. But I, you know, now looking back, be careful what you wish for, because you know, I always wished for, you know, another Jersey Shaw set, you know, sell. I, no one believed in that when I was trying to sell that, you know, I mean. Hey, Mr. Roberts, um, Mr. Brian, rather himself, he, you know, he he passed on that. He laughed his ass off when I was telling him about that sinker girl. He said he just laughed his ass off, and now now we laugh about it over some Southern Comfort when we talk about the ratings and how it just blew out. You know, it's the highest rating show on t on MTV. So I said, so it's like you ask yourself, you know, you, you see where these kids get these ideas from. They see paranormal activity and they see all these things, and you know, you never know what, what might come up from it. So um, anyway, it's just uh, just getting it out there that. I, I just want to apologize. Um, don't know when I'll be back. Don't know if I'll be able to reach down there in the islands. Uh, don't want to really disclose my location um, just because I don't want no one else involved. I think it's my problem. It's my it's my mess to clean up, and I want to do that right now. And uh, I have contacted the authorities. I have contacted a special agent who's going to be um, flying down there and meeting me. And uh, just wanted to uh, say here now that I'm, I'm packed up and I'm ready to go, and I'm going to see this thing through. And... and uh, you know, I might have been a little bit crass early talking about my 10% on this next season. And uh, while that is accurate, you know, I'll get paid. And um, I, by no means am I doing it opportunistically. Uh, frankly, I see this as a, an attempt to, uh, to to bring closure on something that was going to be wildly misunderstood. I mean, the, 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 the public's going to eviscerate these people. They're going to think the nothing but, uh, you know, opportunistic uh, pieces of shit that exploited and manipulated the American public. And I, frankly, I don't think these kids were, well, had done that. Maybe there's the, the one or two of them did, but I, I don't think they all should be blamed and have their life ruined like that. So I'm just going to try to help these men, these boys and girls. And, and I want to help myself, frankly, and, and, and help 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 me in my own so I, I'm gonna go do that and I just want to make this uh, little you know shitty ass with my damn can portal just for the record that I, I, I knew nothing about this and uh, I stand by that and, and, I'll, and I'll testify that in the court of law in any court of law yeah yep, yep. in uh, in up here in yeah in, in California uh, it, 
down south in Dixie, uh, wherever you want to say it, I, I, I will, uh, as long as it's on American soil, I will testify, and as long as my hand can be pulling that Bible, and I can swear to God, I will. God help me. Praise Jesus. same Louisiana parish I did. Yep, he's the uh, COO of uh, Comcast, the, uh, yeah, the only NBC Universal. He had passed on Jersey Shaw when I uh, pitched him a few years ago. Well, I didn't really believe in the project myself at the time, I'll admit, but you know, the numbers make a believer out of anybody. Anyway, once I uh, pitched him this uh, whole idea of the uh, graduation party, showed him some of the footage I got and that mysterious FedExes. It took a few minutes, but I sold them. I sold them good. Got a really good price. I set a record for reality programming in terms of the uh, actual hours and per capita ratio, dynamic breakdown, if you will. And you know what I did? I splurged on my 10%. Yeah. yeah. One hour after I made my deal, it was around 3 o'clock this afternoon, I went out and bought something I've been dying to buy for years. <laughs> and I'm ashamed to say I spent the whole 10% on it, which was, you know, close to about, it was about, almost about a million dollars. About 900 and change. You know what I bought? Guess. <laughs> hmm? What? Take like a minor league baseball team or maybe one of those supercars from uh, Italian, you know, the Germans, or, you know, one of those... Uh, one of those assholes in Europe, uh, you know, building nice cars, Japanese, one of those things. Nah, I mean, I like my cars and everything, but I build American, Paul Tuff, and some Mustangs and shit like that. No, you know, we're not here in L.A. You got to play the game. You can't be a southern boy like me. I mean, I'll never change the way I talk, but I got to change the way I dress, and I got to change the way I count myself. So um, I dropped nine, it was nine twenty-eight dollars tax on this baby right here. Yeah, modern art. Modern fucking art, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's actually cardboard and and, and twine. Um, that's all it is, really, actually. But it's uh, apparently a um, really hot artist who uh, he um, you know. Well, actually, he's becoming a she. Uh, he's in the middle of a gender reassignment thing, which I think you know just heightens the value of the product or the work piece or whatever the fuck they call these things. 
point is it's an investment. It's a tax shelter. I mean, I can't stand looking at the thing, but, you know, my guests will be right, very impressed because, you know, you look at this thing and you say, you know, uh, you know, this is a uh, Von Makenstein with this guy's name. You know, they'll be really impressed. You know, it's like, it's like you're buying the name. You ain't, you ain't even buying it. You're buying the name. It's like the active thing. It's all a game. It's all y'all become, you, you become commodified at some point. I mean, that's what I do. I just buy and sell these people. And I'm, you know, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not exploiting them. I'm helping them. It's feeding the families. But she's a beauty, ain't she? She's a beauty. And I got her for a bargain. I mean, you guys, I mean, you know, I, we went to Sotheby's. Sotheby's, they had the auction. You know, modeling art. They do it, they do it about two or three times a year when they, when they got really good pieces in there. And, uh, only 900. I, I thought it was going to go past a million, but it didn't. I was so happy about that. You know, that's because I didn't want to spend more than my 10% on it. You know, because it was out there. I just made that deal. It was just clean. It was clean. So now I got it hanging right here. You know, I got to figure out like a real good, real, real like, impressive place to hang it. You know, some place where, you know, if someone walks by it, they won't, you know, destroy it since it's, again, just paper and string and twine that I could probably put together for 57 cents and uh, the tools of a kindergartner. But hey, what do I know about art? You know, I heard about one artist who was a. Uh, he, he, he took his own feces and he uh, put it in a box and uh, they, we packaged him up. And this one sold, this is no shit, this sold, uh, sold in uh, London uh, last year for like a uh, quarter million dollars. Like eight ounces of the man shit. He sold his shit. I mean, so when you say that, mom, no, it's a bunch of shit. You ain't, you ain't kidding. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. But this ain't shit. This ain't shit. You can't say that about this. This is this is uh this is bullshit. I'm gonna return it. This is what the hell did I spend a million dollars on this? This is absolute bullshit. Let me stop this thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Talewando, yeah, yeah. First of all, you, you, you got to call for the. Um, uh, you got to do a few things for me. I, I, I've been packing up these boxes all morning. I need you to. Um, I need you to. Uh, I need you to do one thing for me right here. I need you to. Uh, whoops.